Hey guys, welcome to how to create a key tag design, uh, particularly looking with images. Now in the last video that we had a look at in the series, we were actually making um, a key tag with uh, letters and words. Uh, one of the important things to be doing is um, what you can do is like, at the moment, this font is actually belonging in this particular iPad, right? Now, when you try to laser cut this, um, this font might not be available in the particular computer. So a really good idea to do is to click on the text and create outline text. And what it'll do is it'll actually convert it into uh, a diagram almost like a vector diagram so that um, you, but you can't actually change the words after you do this once you convert it to an outline text. Anyway, this is a little tip for um, the guys that were watching the previous video. Now, we are going to create uh, one with um, images. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work with the existing design. So this was the existing design that uh, we had before. Uh, I'm just going to put this to one so now so that you can actually see this. Now, this part again, guys, you can actually watch the previous video. I'll put the link in uh, the description below. Um, so this is part two of this uh, particular video. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, bring in a particular vector image and show you guys how to run a trace and do all of that. All right. So going to go into Safari and see if we can actually pick up some images from there. Okay. So what we want to do is we actually want to go into Google Images and search for whatever items that, you, that is you're searching for. Just put in black vector free at the end of it. Um, you know, you've got to always be mindful of um, image uh, copyright issues and so on. Um, so there are a few sites that are um, quite good in terms of giving out free vectors. Um, and also you can actually use Clipart as well, which is another thing that you can potentially use. Now, let's say I go into free pick right here. Um, and I've got all of these dogs right now. I'm going to actually like, I think let's go with this one. Now, it's really important that you guys look for black vector free. And I'll actually show you guys why the other one's color doesn't work so well. And also, um, you don't want like multiple shades as well. Ideally, you want a black outline, then it picks it up real easily. All right, so I'm going to click on this image here. And uh, can I copy this? No, I'm going to go to save to photos. Right there. Once I save this to photos, I'm back in my Illustrator and I'm going to insert my photo. As you can see, this photo is actually quite pixelated. And what we don't want to do is we don't want to have images that are pixelated. And what we're going to do is we're going to run a couple of um, couple of tricks in uh, the iPad. We're going to click on this button here, which is your image trace button. And what it does is it actually converts the image into a vector. Now, if I zoom in, as you guys can see, this line is super sharp. All right, what's the other thing I want to do? I also want to click on tick again once more. And so it's kind of expands the object. Now, I only want the, the dog in the middle here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on ungroup. And there you go. Now I should have like uh, four little separate items that I could actually work out of. So I do not want this dog. I'm going to get rid of these dogs here. Let's get rid of this one as well. And of course, I want this dog to fit inside the key tag. Now, if I try to do this stretchy thing, what you'll notice is that it, it's actually out of proportion. So really important that you hold this circle button down. And when you hold the circle button down, you're going to have like a nice shape that's actually going up in the right proportion. Cool. We're going to zoom in a little bit here and I'm going to move this dog right over there. That's look, starting to look good now. Let's actually make it a little bit smaller. And this guy reminds me. Now, what if you want to make this dog go into the center? So if you do want to make the dog go into the center, you can click on all of the objects. And you have a little align tool. And you should be able to click on that, which actually centers the dog. I'm going to click on text. And I would like to put um, a name here. So I'm going to click on the text. And let's call this dog something. I'm going to call it Lassie here. And again, I'm going to click on center. So everything is centered up right, right nice. But this Lassie is like a bit through weird. Let me just put them up here. And then I'm going to center it. Cool. And remember that change your red. You want to change it to pure red. Just check that it's pure red. Yes, FF four zeros. That's in pure red. And we're going to change our stroke size to 0 
we're pretty much done here guys and at this point you can actually send this photo sorry send this file to jarvis and then be able to laser cut cool if you have any questions or comments pop it in the uh comment section below and i'll try my best to answer these questions but apart from that thank you for watching